Hey creators, welcome to today's video. This is a brand new week. This is a Monday. I'm releasing this on a Monday. And I just want to solve for you five challenges that this guy, the DJI RS2, RS2, yep, can throw at you and how to fix them. So things happen when you are uh, on set, you know, fast paced or you are busy and then all of a sudden you find issues on your RS2. So I'm going to talk about those five things and how to actually fix them. Number one, this one um, immediately when I was moving over onto the RS2 because uh, of the EOS C70, I actually couldn't balance it and that was like a physical thing. And this is what I'm talking about. So this camera is heavy on, on, on this side. So it is heavy. Then you find that even uh, physically, even if you have pushed the camera all the way to this motor, you find that you still cannot balance it. So what you can do is counterweight. Um, mine, of course, this is a homemade remedy. So you just have to put um, your counterweight um, this gimbal can take up to, I think it's 4.5 kilogram. So as long as you know that your rig is not, uh, it doesn't reach that much, but you still can't balance it because of the physical space. You just put a weight on the side to counterbalance your camera. Uh, this is a homemade remedy, but you can actually buy proper stuff from companies like uh, Small Rig and uh, Lem clamp it uh, on this arm and put some weight on it. So the homemade remedy still works. That was number one, the counterweight. Number two, what do we have here? Um, oh, this happened on set and we find ourselves not being able to control the camera. And we didn't know what happened. We actually had to take um, the camera off the rig, or, or off the gimbal and we had to just shoot handheld. So, and the challenge was that if you shoot raw from uh, the C70 as of now, what is it, we are in April, the, the last firmware that we got from April to shoot raw, you cannot use the uh, digital stabilizer in the camera. So we had to shoot handheld without digital stabilizer. So what's, what I believe happened when I got home, was that um, there is a on button, this side. So this is an on button. And if you double tap this while your gimbal is on, it actually go into sleep mode. So you cannot control a gimbal, you cannot do much. In fact, you can't do anything because it's on sleep mode. Um, and you are, you'll realize that like when you are shooting and now your gimbal, you're trying to control it and it sort of go, go, went into a limp mode sort of, then you should, that's the first thing to check uh, that by mistake, this was not double tapped. Because remember that um, this button also, if you tap it once, it actually locks your screen. So you can make a mistake of tapping it twice and that is that. The third one, this is, when you have to balance this camera and when you have to balance a camera that actually has an eyepiece, you know, that extended thing at the back where you can use the viewfinder, viewfinder, um, you find that you cannot balance it, uh, especially on the, on, on the tilt motor, because when you balance this on a tilt motor, uh, that you have to, I'm trying to unlock it. You have to put at some point this way and balance it this way. But if you have a long eyepiece, you find that you cannot do that. So what you can do is you're going to balance it this way, I'll call it horizontally. And instead of trying to put it vertically, put it at about 45 degrees where your eyepiece will not be touching. Then balance it that way. So you shouldn't have a problem. And in fact, even after you have balanced it uh, horizontally and vertically, let's say on this camera, you still have to sort of put it at 45 degrees and see if 
uh, it's not moving then if it's not moving it's stable so it is the same as balancing it horizontally put that 45 degrees balance it and if it's stable that way it is balanced so it is not like um, if you cannot put it upright like this or vertical you cannot balance it so 45 degrees is enough then it's cool um, number four you what happened is i did balance the c200 on this and the c200 actually have that eyepiece and and i, I balanced it at 45 degrees but what happened after while i'm using it um, especially when I tried to go into a briefcase mode, um, the motors were vibrating. So what you have to do is go into the menu and in the menu, physically uh, move uh, the, the strength on the motors. And what I found out is it doesn't mean that you have to up the number. I actually had to even lower the number and the vibration was gone. So do that because you might get micro jittery on your video if you feel any vibration on the motor um, in fact let me put it this way you will first have to do auto tune then after balancing you do auto tune so it was still vibrating after the auto tune so i had to go into the menu and physically uh, move the strength of the motor it's called stiffness stiffness of the motor i turned it down and the 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 vibration was gone so that's how you get rid that's how you that's one of the things that can happen and, and and when it vibrates you just have to go into the stiffness of the motors number four number five the last one we have this arm here on the roll i'm just going to lock this so this arm I think I need to there we are so this arm um, after balancing it on uh, the, the tilt motor then I have to balance it on the roll motor uh, you find that this arm is stiff to move uh, to move it horizontally or left to right so what happens is it is a bit stiff on its own without any weight but once you put a heavy weight on it um, you sort of sending a, a talk moment or a moment on here and it becomes more stiff. So what we have to do is underneath the camera here, just hold the camera as if you're lifting it a little bit up and move that. So even when you are alone, you are able to move it as long as you lift this a little bit and then you move it it makes life a lot easier um, especially when i've put the c200 on this it becomes a lot stiffer because that camera is heavy then lifting it a little bit helps a lot uh, in fact i thought that um i thought that there was an issue with this uh, but a friend said let's try to lift this a little bit and see and it was so smooth um, after he lifted it and now I can actually do it on my own just lift a little bit and then use another arm to uh, to just move this so guys those are the five things that or challenges that DJI RS2 can throw at you and those were the solutions that I found so this is your boy Kariso M if you liked this video please do the right thing and also subscribe to my channel ring a bell so that you one of the first people to get notifications I'm out of here peace be with you